with a Casio FX82 AU Plus or FX100 AU Plus, a range of calculations involving angles and trigonometric ratios can be performed. When performing these calculations, it is important to know your calculator's global setting for angle measure. This can be seen by the small D, R or G displayed at the top of the screen. This indicates the calculator is set to degrees, radians or gradients. My calculator displays an R, indicating that it is currently set to radians. To change the global setting for angle measure, press Shift, then Mode, then make your choice. I'm going to press 3 to choose degrees. To solve this equation by calculating the arctan of 0.4, press Shift, then the tan key to enter arctan, enter the 0.4 and then press equals. In this case, there was no need to close the brackets, although it is generally good practice to do so. To convert the resulting angle into degrees, minutes and seconds, press the key displaying the degrees, minutes and seconds symbols. In the next equation, the angle has been given in radians. One way to deal with this is to change the calculator's global setting to radians. Alternatively, the angle can be entered in radians without making that change, which is what I will do. The solution to this equation is 5 times by the sine of pi on 8 radians. Enter this using the sine key, the fraction key, and by pressing shift and the times 10 to the power of key to enter pi. To indicate that this angle is in radians, arrow across so that the cursor is adjacent to the entire fraction, not just the denominator, and then enter the radian symbol by pressing shift and the answer key to access the DRG local settings and press 2 to choose radians. Now press equals and the calculation is complete. To calculate the cosine of an angle given in degrees, minutes and seconds, press the cos key then enter the angle, pressing the degrees, minutes and seconds key after the degrees, minutes and if necessary the seconds. Don't be alarmed by the calculator's use of the degrees symbol between these inputs. It is operating correctly. Press equals to complete the computation. To convert an angle like 1.8 radians into the calculator's global angle measure, which is degrees in my case, enter the angle pressing shift and the answer key to access the radian local angle measure by pressing 2. To convert an angle from degrees, minutes and seconds into decimal format, first enter it using the degrees, minutes, seconds key. If the angle has 0 seconds, it can be entered as such, or equals can be pressed after the minutes are entered. Pressing the degrees, minutes, seconds key one more time will convert this angle into decimal format.